Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This is Hill. And again, I just want to thank everyone who's been watching my videos, the new subscribers, welcome. I hope you're enjoying Mass Effect as much as I am. All right, let's go ahead without further ado and get to the galaxy map because we did a lot of talking last time with our crew, Admiral Hackett. And, uh, gosh, I'm think forgetting his name. Um, Admiral Anderson. So yeah, there was a lot of talking that took place in our last episode. Now, it's time for some action. Alright, so we previewed, before we ended our last episode, where to go, ex-Cerberus scientist or the Asari colony. I've decided on the ex-Cerberus scientists. Let's go. Let's risk a scan. Nothing here. Oh. Wow, the Reapers are still... Look at them. They're on readiness. They are about to close in if I keep on giving them away my... my uh, if I keep giving away my location. All right, here we go. All right, we're safe here. Nothing else. In array... All right, so we're here at Galax to find the ex Cerberus scientists. It's a lot of S's, people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Galax was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo amino acid based world that they could not inhabit themselves, but were unwilling to give it up or to give up. In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Now, wow, talk about ideas. You know what? Rent out a planet. <laughs> Anyhow, between the high price and a surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, Galax found few reputable tenants. Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of it today, Galax is a symbol of toxic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. All right, let's get our landing party together. All right, we've got Caden back. And I think we're gonna take him with us. Let's, uh, what kind of appearances does he have? All right, we'll go with this. Um. I'm going to take James. We're going to go with a human contingent this time. Could be my mistake, but... <laughs> okay, uh, James, what other outfits do you have? Okay, we'll go with that. All right, let's go. Wait, what? James and Caden. Yes, let's go. Alright, we're going to keep this outfit for now, this armor. And, let's see. Oh, wow, look at this. The Crusader, and unfortunately I have not upgraded any shotguns. It's a level one. Hmm. We, I guess we can at least modify it. We're, boy, I'm asking for it today. Uh, we'll do with the Shredder mod. 
and the high caliber barrel. Uh, let's put some mods on the Avenger. We don't have anything on that either. Oh, look. The faced and... It's a Turian weapon. I meant to give this to Garrus last time, but, uh... We can let, um... James use it. Okay, magazine upgrade. We'll do the armor piercing mod. And the extended barrel. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I'm surprised I didn't mod any of these weapons. All right, armor piercing, extended barrel. Predator. Okay. Put piercing on that one as well. And a high caliber barrel. Okay. Uh, capacity. Let's see. This is Shepard here. Let's see what we can do. I want the piercing mod. And I'll, I'll keep the stability. So we'll just have less um, ammo capacity. Alright, I think we're ready. Wait, wait. No, that's good. Alright, let's go. What? Ten? Okay. Alright, we're going with Reach for Shockwave that I have not yet had a chance to use. Okay, and Caden. Damage and durability. Weapon damage or durability? Durability. Tech damage or biotic damage. Wow, what a choice. We'll, we'll revisit that one. Okay, cryo blast. Where are we with this? Speed reduction. Cryo explosion. Hmm. We'll go with the cryo explosion. And frozen vulnerability. So increases damage to frozen and chill targets by 15% and weaken armor targets by an additional 25. Okay, and how about some reeve? Damage reduction, recharge speed. Wow, that's a lot. I'm going with the recharge speed on the Reeve. What have we got here for a uh, barrier? Blast effect. Okay. See, and he won't give me the barrier, so we'll just have to uh, experience it through Caden. Alright, so where are we? Let's give him the full carnage thing. Armored units by 65 or just in general damage. We'll go with the armor. Let's boost these frag grenades. Uh, or impact radius. We're going to go with damage. I want the maximum number of grenades. Pack 
Power damage or shield recharge delay. We'll go with the power damage. All right, I think we're ready and we're holding on to the Shepard's remaining points. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Intel's pretty damn slim. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Jacob Taylor, people. My question is, whatever happened to him being a biotic? That's like, you know, why couldn't he have used his powers? Anyhow, um, incendiary ammo for everyone? Cerberus abandoned this place. It's Thank freezing. you. All right, just, let's keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down with their heads? Okay, let's go. All right, shields overload. Incendiary action there. And again. Four. He's down. What have you got for me? Cryo blast. Nice roll. All clear, Shepard. Any scientists survive? All right, let me get some ammo. Good. Come in, Jacob. Are Jacob, are you all right? Come in. Uh, hello? Where Who's is there? Jacob? Here he is. Jacob? How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Oh wow, a loading screen. Okay. Jacob. Oh my god. 
Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh... Sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hmm. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. I just want to comment on um, Jacob walking off a bullet wound. I mean, t I tell you, this is what video games are all about. And this is the disturbing thing for me, the trend, I think, that uh, video games are headed in. Like this new uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint where you have all these injuries and you have to bandage yourself up and you're limping and dragging yourself around. Let's stick to video games, people. The man just got shot. He's going to walk it off. That's that's the type of game that I'm looking for. All right. Ex-Cerberus. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. <laughs> Running took guts. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. <laughs> we took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Uh-oh. Time to evacuate. Agree. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, you I should. Will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. I mean, if that's what you consider walking off a gunshot wound, I don't know. He that that was terrible. He's going to be in some serious trouble. Okay, we have a confrontation here. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Java. That's one way of putting it. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Yeah, let him worry. Wh where's the option that I can shoot him in the head? I don't know anything about that. I'm sorry. Oh, God. If anything happens to him, I... It's a little late to start caring about him now, don't you think? David was all I had left. I hoped we might be reunited one day, that I could beg his forgiveness. It will never happen now. Oh? What? A precaution, if I was ever captured by the enemy, or couldn't wake from my nightmare. We both know this is the ending I deserve. Yes, we do. God but be with you, I Amanda. wanted to end it, though. He was never with me. Oh! People. People. I'm glad that happened off camera. I don't want anyone to be disturbed by what just happened. But yeah. I wanted to do that. I wanted to shoot him in the head. Because that man was evil. The stuff that he did to his brother. Alright, we got 250,000 credits. 2,500 2, credits. Okay. Anyhow. This is from Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk ASAP. 
let's get moving. So, yeah, that was a nice touch, though. I have to commend Bioware for allowing the proper ending to that character because he really should have been shot in the head in Mass Effect 2. Really. I mean, it was just horrific, people. Horrific. If you haven't seen it, the Overlord DLC, check it out. It is on my channel, too, so you can check it there or anywhere to see the horrors that were inflicted on poor David. Okay, 50 experience. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. Lord. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You've got to be kidding. Hmm. Why would you bring families? So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. I'm wondering and why her eyes are so lost. bloodshot. Is she, like taking drugs or something? What's going on with this woman? Alright, we can't let that distract us. We only get one shot at this, so people better pay attention and fall in line. Absolutely. What's the news? Oh, Lord. Look can't at tell. Him. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's ridiculous walking around like that. Okay. <laughs> So much for walking off a bullet wound. All right, um, can we talk to you again? Dr. Cole, got a moment? Of course. Let's ask about the Cerberus work. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Hmm. Isn't everyone's? All right, tell me about your experiment. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Mm -mm. Really? Um, so you escaped from Cerberus? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Let's ask about her and Jacob. And I'm just going to speak, you know, I, I have actually played through with a, a female shepherd way, way back on the, the Xbox 360. Who had a romance with Jacob and this was this was crap though for the female 
to come here and find that he had shacked up with another woman. But anyhow, let's, let's, let's keep going. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Okay. I should let you focus. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. All right, well, who's next? Oh, what's this? Personal log with Jacob's help. We have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were, in fact, killed. Contracts terminated, is what Cerberus called it. Makita Scott, Daniel, Chung He, Anika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? You know what, people? You don't get drama like that. <laughs> Every day, you just don't get it. Oh, wow. So he, he got some medical treatment. Let this be a lesson, though, people. If you get shot, don't try to walk it off. Get some medical attention. That is my free sir public service announcement for the day. Okay, Jacob. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. He's always been a gun for hire. For people I came to care about. You were a gun for hire when you worked for Shepard. Get the heck on. All right, what about the war? Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals, their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. Seems like a waste of your skills. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. Okay. How'd you end up here? What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. Hmm, you sat on a beach. <laughs> and what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Hmm. All right, tell me about Dr. Cole. How long have you known Britt? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Hmm, so what's up with you and her? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. Alright, we're doing a flashback to Mass Effect 2. Ever think about your father? You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Well, his dad, he gave him the gun. His dad is dead. If you aren't familiar with the story... That's one of the possible outcomes. And since I was playing a renegade, really no choice there at all. Okay, uh, got any Cerberus intel? Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. 
You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. All right, so glad we had a chance to talk. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Okay. And what have we got over here? Aha. Uh -huh. 1,250 credits. All right, looks like that's... Oh, no, look. Casa Fabrication Greaves. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Oh, and a Metagel station. Okay. But we are good on Metagel. All right, so before I'm we continue... To save this data. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the... Show. Obey. Early? I don't want to die. Go. Just we'll go. work on often. No, no, told you that we should have gone to Anything? Oh, look focus. at this. Focus on Shotgun. High caliber barrel, too. All right, let's keep going. These people have no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. The illusion man really wants these guys. Another loading screen, okay. Heads up. All right. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Caden, how are you on cooldown? We haven't got fought yet. <laughs> what? These games, I'm telling you. All right, now he's ready. Overload. And what have we got here? We'll use... Oh, we lost our um, thing. Carnage. Oh, nice. Um, we'll take some incendiary ammo. Look out, there's a grenade. Carnage. Overload. Nice. See people, this this is why I wanted Caden. This is why. Watch, watch how we fight. Um, what are we doing here with him? War. Oh ho ho! Alright. Satellite tower. Mm -mm. Overload. Carnage. You know that had to hurt. Singularity out. Mm. Oh, we... we it's gotten real now. We've got our tech powers going. We've got our biotics going. All right. Okay, here we are. Telemetry override. Let's go. Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More hostiles incoming. <sighs> I don't know if you'll be able to hit him from there. Singularity out. All right, he's already dead. Singularity again. Throw. There we go. Hmm. You know what? about some shockwave. <laughs> yes! 
Singularity out. Uh oh. Carnage. Overload. War. Take out this shield generator, okay. Throw. Ah, he didn't explode. How disappointing. What was that sound? For now. Oh, there's the guy. Singularity out. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. And this is that classic battle music from the Overlord DLC. Effect too. Anything up here I should know or see? Oh, look at this. AA gun control. Was there something else I was supposed to see? Let me cross back over here. Oh, I can't get up from here? Okay, got it. Anything hidden back here? Oh, look at this. Sniper Rifle Piercing Mod 3. Okay, let's go. save coming up. Should be early enough. Data pad. Alright, 3,750 credits. Meta gel, 1, 100 experience. I, I, I wouldn't mind 1,000. Alright, let's go ahead and deactivate this. Uh-oh. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Um, I'm gonna choose James. James, repair this ASAP. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on! Now, you can use these guns if you want to. Oh, phantom people. And I've got just the thing for you. Reeve. Down. 
Caden? Overload. Ah, <laughs> yes. All right, second phantom has entered the battlefield. Uh, you can't deal with my biotics, phantom. Uh, what have we got here? Uh huh. Just warping the crap out of them. Is that it? Oh, a phantom! Nice! Mm. Oh, she's not down, is she? You know, you should have played dead. <laughs> Rather than end up that way. Uh... Why is this shuttle just sitting here? Are we clear? I hope this isn't a bug. Come on now. Let's check back with James. He's still working. Looks like this might be bugged. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. Alright. I still want to choose James. James, repair this. ASAP. Will do. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on! Well, that shuttle did take off, which is a good sign. How are the repairs coming? I'm working on it. Got her. Another phantom. Oh. All right, phantom down. All right, it worked. Gotcha. I'm on it. This is why we save. <laughs> Even though I think this was an auto save. Whew. All right. Shepard, A guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, we get a cutscene. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Evacuate immediately. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. You know, I think I left some Jump stuff behind, the perimeter, though. Then launch shuttle one. On the roof. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Woo!
All right. Everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Mm -hmm. Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Cryo blast. Carnage. All right, looks like we're clear. Shepard, shuttles are loaded. We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. I'll meet you down there. Where's my crew? My squad. Oh, look at this. Turian toxin data. We almost That's missed poison. this. Tailored to Turians. And I am... Oh, can't save. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, people! Through the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Cryo blast. Singularity out. Jake, All right. bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay. No, let's get these people out. I of here. love that cryo blast. All right, let's go. What do we got? Here we go. Oh, he dodged it. Damn you. All right, overload. <laughs> Come on, let's move out. Oh, stay cover! <laughs> All right, guys, help me out here. Let's go. Huh, I guess overload. Well, you guys are not recharging fast enough. All right, Reeve. And throw a grenade.
frag grenade. Warping. Down he goes. Overload. Carnage. There we go. Ooh, and we leveled up. Roger that. Why couldn't he have used a full field? Out by the skin of our teeth again, hey, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you could do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Too bad. We could have used your experience. I have a feeling you'll do all right, Shepard. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. All right, so we rescued the scientist, and now they can work on the Crucible. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. All right, we got our funding. What else? Attic and Beta invaded. Uh oh. Minor colonial support. So we didn't lose Attic and Beta, though, I don't think. Let's just check our war terminal here. Look at our, min our military strength. We are, you know, approaching the apex of the minimum meter here. So, this is better. This is a lot better. All right, so we have Dr. Bryn Cole, ex-Cerberus scientists, the Alliance First Fleet, and Jacob Taylor. All right. Well, that's going to be it, folks, for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is Hill! And I'm out.